Hey guys, uh, in today's video I wanted to uh, do a look inspired by sunflowers, so this is kind of like what I came up with. I'm going to do a voiceover because it's just easier for me to do it that way. Um, but yeah, so here's the sunflower look. Stay tuned to find out how I did it. Alright, I've got the foundation and brows contour already done. And to start the eye look, I am going in with the MAC Painterly Paint Pot to prime my eyes. And then this little brown shade, this is the Morphe 35O palette. And this little brown shade is called Seriously. It's just going to be like a soft brown to transition. Blending up in the crease with a little fluff, uh, fluffy brush. And then doing the other side, just blending that brown in with the fluffy brush. To have a little nice transition shade here. And then I used this little bit of a darker shade called Cafe from the same palette, this Morphe 35O. And I just went in like the crease to kind of deepen right there, add a little bit of depth to like the outer corner and give this look some shape to it. I just blended this to filth. And then same to the other side, just add that dark uh, cafe shade. Any browns will work, but I just had this palette, so I was like, I'm gonna use the browns from these. Just packing it in. And then once I'm satisfied with the pigment on the brown, um, well, I guess I just keep blending. Alright, so once I'm satisfied with the pigment of the brown, I have the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. Um, this is in the shade 12B Fair Beige, and I'm just using this to cut my crease to put that yellow pigment on top of. Uh, this little concealer brush my husband got for me in a little set, so any concealer brush works. I just like to put it on my lash line, open my eye so I can see about where I want to put it, and then like carve out where I want the yellow cut crease to go. And then I've got a little flat brush, and then this is the uh, ColourPop Fade Into Hue palette. This is a matte yellow shade called Bonus Points, and if this is not the most sunflower yellow shade you've ever seen in your life, oh my god, it's so pretty. So I'm using that, and I'm just packing with the flat brush over the concealer the yellow shade in. It got a little messy, but that's okay. And then I'm just kind of blending it over to the brown, taking it up to the crease, making sure it's covered like all of where I had the concealer. And I took a small little brush in that cafe brown shade and just kind of like, I wanted to define the crease a little bit more where the yellow, after it was like a really defined cut crease. And then this is um, the ColourPop Smoke Show palette. I just picked a black to kind of deepen and blend the yellow in. I, I kind of wish I would have just gone with a dark brown, but I felt like black would have made it a little bit deeper. I just wanted that crease to be dark. And then I took the fluffy brush that I had the transition shade on, the Seriously shade, and I just used that to really soften out those lines and make sure that there weren't, wasn't any harshness because I wanted this look to be really, really soft. Alright, and then same to the other eye. We're using the uh, Tarte Shape Tape Concealer, just cutting the crease and getting ready for this yellow. I had so much fallout, and I usually don't have any from that palette, but I ended up having to take a Q-tip and like cleaning it off and dabbing a little bit more concealer over that area. I'm like, what the heck? I never have any fallout with this palette. And oh, and got concealer all over my under eye. I don't know. I guess sometimes things just happen. I was also using this new mirror I got. It's uh, Jurassic World. It's from the Pro Fusion series and I'm kind of obsessed with it right now. It's got a little raptor claw hanging on the end of it. 
Anyway, I'm packing uh, the yellow shade in again. I wanted a really matte look, but I wanted some glitter, so I had to find a way to add some in later. And then doing the same thing, just taking that brown shade and uh, defining the crease just a little bit more. And then you just blend until the end of time. <laughs> One eternity later. All right. And then I just took some of that yellow and made sure it was like blended a little bit better between the yellow and the brown there. And then this is that same brown shade, the cafe. I just took an angled brush and did some on the under eye. This is back to the Morphe 35O palette. This shade is called Clear, I believe, and it's just a little bit of a subtle shimmer I wanted to add to the brow bone to make this to make it pop but still be really soft looking. And I set my face with the e.l.f. Uh, powder, HD finishing powder, I believe it's called. And I'm using the NYX Epic Ink Liner and doing just a little bit of a wing on the outer corner here. This is totally optional. I just really like to have eyeliner on, especially if I'm doing a look where I plan on wearing lashes. And then we're doing the other eye, same thing. I just take the pen and make one line going out and connect it. And then I just fill that area in. Doing it that way creates kind of like a soft, small, precise line instead of just a big, huge one. And then this is the uh, Essence Lash Princess Mascara. I wanted to put some on before I did the lashes. Just doing the top and bottom of both eyes. And then I'm using the Lash Drip Lashes uh, by Kiss and their lash glue. These are my absolute favorite lashes lately. I, w I, have, I found a little lash tool to just place them down. They weren't really working with me this day. I had to, I had to place them. And just something in the universe said, not today. That, that's not going to go that way, is it? because plot twist, I hated how it looked. Now we're just dramatically placing them in and airdrop them in and they don't match, fine. All right, so for the lip shade, this is the ColourPop Lippy Pencil in Grunge. It's kind of like a brown. I just got an order in from them and I ordered a whole bunch of new lip products to try and I was like, ooh, brown, sunflower. I'm totally doing this one today and it was so pigmented and it goes on like so buttery. This is the first time I got to use it and I really, really, really liked it. All right, I'm gonna butcher the name of the lip color. It's by NYX. It's the Soft Matte Lip Cream in Abu Dhabi unsure of how that is but it's like a really soft like brown shade 
and I really like the look of it but I wanted it a little lighter so in the very center I added their lighter shade and the same thing Cairo it's the NYX soft matte lip cream just in the very middle there and then for highlight I went back in with the ColourPop fade into hue palette and that um yellow glittery shade called Lucky Charm I put that on the inner corner and used it as a highlight on my face and also did a separate vi video on these freckles, the ColourPop freckle pens. So keep out, keep an eye out on the channel for that. I don't know which one will come up first, but I've got a video on these freckle pens. Yeah, glitter highlight and freckles. All right guys, and that was how I did this little sunflower inspired look. My daughter and I have been watching the Tinkerbell movies and the little fairy, um, I think her name is Iridessa. Like she's so cute. That's kind of like partly what inspired it too, but like the colors of a sunflower. I don't really wear yellow a whole lot, so I'm kind of surprised with how well this turned out and how much I like it. Like the yellow, the brown, the brown. And of course I had to have some sparkle in it, so we had to do the glitter. I've always wanted to go to like one of those sunflower fields. They have them I think this time of the year and the closest one to us I think is a little bit away. It might be closer than I think but um I've always wanted to go to one. Sunflowers are just so pretty and I just wanted to do kind of like a look based off of one so uh, I wanted to thank you guys so much for watching. Um, if you want to follow me on Instagram I've got a personal one and one for hair and then I've got uh, Twitter. That's about all I use. I've got a Facebook, but it's like my personal one. I think you can follow it, though. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, thank you so much for watching and supporting the channel. I hope you all have a great day, and I will catch you in the next one. Bye!